Hey guys, Tina here with Tina's Inspired Art. Thanks for joining me on my channel again today. I really appreciate it. Um, I am going to use my little level to make sure that all four corners are level to include my center. So it actually starts with a nice level table, but I do have just a couple of wooden kind of slat boards up underneath my canvas today. It is nice and level and we're working on a 12 by 24 inch canvas today. It's a gallery wrapped. I purchased these at Michael's and I'm going to start by saying that I'm going to do a Dutch pour and I'm going to um, do a kind of a, a design that I have done in the past. I'll do my signature style on it and um, then come back at the very end to show you exactly what it looks like. So we're going to start off by covering my canvas with my PPG house interior paint um, for my base layer. So I'm going to put you on fast forward for this portion of it while I cover my canvas with my trusty little spatula um, and then come back. We'll design it together and share what color palette we're going to be looking at today and uh, take you through the process. So keep uh, joining me guys and we'll see what this this uh, little beauty is going to look like. guys I'm back I flooded my canvas covered my sides and I am going to just run my finger down the underneath edge part of the canvas so I can just catch those drips while I see them it really helps to control the flow of your paint so it doesn't um, flow as much over your paint. There's a piece of hair. Get that out of there. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take my finger and slide it all the way underneath the canvas on all four sides. So we can catch those drips. I like to do this like right before I start layering my paints. And then also several times after I have blown it out and created my design on the canvas. It really ensures that you're keeping your composition on your canvas. So that's the process I like to do it. Sometimes I don't mind that the paint flows over the sides because it does look very cool when that happens as well, depending on your design um, that you have in mind. So um, you'll see me do that as well. But I think for today's design, I do want to try to control the composition. Yeah, and here I am just popping the last few bubbles that I've seen surface onto my canvas. In fact, I think I'm going to use my, this is an embossing gun that I use. A lot of people use the Life Flame which I have as well, um, but I just use this real quick. It works, it throws out heat, but not air, like a blow dryer. Um, and 
just enough heat to pop those surfacing bubbles. So that's what I like to use. I'm, in, I'm working with, you know, this interior house paint and I don't like to, you know, heat that up. I don't like the fumes that comes off of it. So try to minimize those type fumes. So I think we're about ready to get started, guys. We're going to design our, our uh, make our design on our canvas and get this going. So stay with me, guys. All right, so I want to share what our color palette's going to be for today. I'm gonna to start off with a very dark sapphire, sapphire blue from Pouring Masters a uh, Glacier Light Blue from uh, Arteza. Another Pouring Masters color is Olive Green and it's in very metallic-y. Arteza Light Green. And a Liquitex Gold. So those are my five colors for my color palette today. And with that said, I think we can start with our design. I'm gonna play with this a little, so I've got somewhat of a design in my mind. Hopefully it will look fantastic. So stick with me. Let's see, I'm gonna start off. I'm going to start about right here, kind of off center, but not right in the corner. Like that. I'll add more to this after I get my design. I do kind of want to keep it on the palette, on the, sorry, the canvas I meant to say. So. All right, so with that, design in mind. I'm going to just outline it just a little bit with more paint now of this color. It's a little hard to squeeze. sinking. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe, maybe just one like that. All right. This is that Glacier Light Blue such a pretty light blue, I really like it. I have found myself gravitating towards it often. And that looks good together. I'm gonna add a little bit of this green. I don't want it to take over too much. Now, the 
lighter green. This is kind of pearly. Got a little bit of pearl essence to it, I think. I haven't done this mixture of colors before. And now, some gold. bit of a drop there. I want to get that. I don't really want that to hang out in my painting. All right. Well, I think we're about ready to get started, guys. I think I'm going to start right in this area and work my way up the canvas. Here we go. are looking pretty good together. Those colors do look good, um, and I think when it dries, it's even going to look that much better because it does dry a little bit darker, and I was hoping that it would be a little bit darker than what we see right now, so I feel like it will improve as far as how the colors are blending together. Um, I am going to put my signature style on it, which I think will help bring it more together for me. Um, and we'll get right on to doing that after I pick out a couple of these little hanging things. Okay. All right. Now the fun begins. I'm going to start putting my signature style on this. I think I'll put a little focal point right in this area. Looks to me like it would work. So, um, yeah, I think about right here is going to work for me. Make it a little focal point. Like that. I'm going to need a little rag. I forgot about that. Wipe the end of my paintbrush off. This is the fun part for me. Is to really be able to design and create. And just manipulate it the way you want it to be to look. I 
just adding that tidbit of design to me just adds to it. I think the colors are looking pretty good together. Mm, it blew out nicely. I really don't feel like I have to manipulate. Well, I might want to blow out that area right there, but other than that, I think it came out pretty sweet. What I'll probably do is put you guys on fast forward through the creation of this piece of it. Um, it does take me quite a long time to do, so uh, we'll definitely zoom you in and show you the final results at the very end, so stay tuned, guys. Alright guys, I was just finishing up the last bit of my signature style in this piece. I think she came out pretty nice. Um, yeah, she's got very nice composition. Looks like something I can even take her. Maybe, maybe this is a good one to add, like a little dragonfly on this one, or a butterfly. Or something like that um, I really think she came out just stunning with a couple of just minor tweaks here and there that I'm doing I think she is looking quite nice I'm gonna add just a tad bit to this little center again sometimes they like to sink I want that center to hold true but yeah I'm gonna take you down for a closer look to see how pretty she is and she really will shimmer when she dries so hang on for the final view guys alrighty here we are with how this beauty came all right guys here she is we just got through with designing this beauty. She really did come out stunning. She's got some gorgeous blues and greens. The gold matches just beautiful. What a nice combination of colors that would look good in most any home. Her design is really stunning. I'm thinking at the very end after she dries I will paint on just hand paint either maybe a dragonfly or a butterfly on this little beauty but let me zoom you in and show you the detail the beautiful little cells that are popping up that looks like a little part of the leaf She did flow over on the side just a tad bit there, but I'm not too concerned about that. I like it. But everywhere else has hold true to the composition. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate all of you who 
have subscribed. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers here on my channel. My website is www.tinasinspiredart. My email is tinasinspiredart at gmail.com. Check me out on my Facebook and Instagram at tinasinspiredart. Thanks again, guys, for joining me. And until next time, have a beautiful week. Bye for now.